Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose f is a function from a to b and g is a function from b to c. Note that the composition g compose f is a function from a to c. If g compose f is surjective, then g is also surjective. Okay, now first, let's remind ourselves how composition of functions works, right? We know for all elements x in A, g compose f evaluated at x is equal to g of f of x. Okay, now let's remind ourselves what it means for g compose f to be surjective and what it means for g to be surjective. Well, to say that g compose f is surjective means for all elements y in C, there exists an element x in A such that g compose f evaluated at x is equal to y. Similarly, to say that g is surjective means for all elements y in C, there exists an element x in B, such that g of x is equal to y. Okay. So now, we're trying to prove if g compose f is surjective, then g is surjective. So to prove that, let's suppose that g compose f is surjective. And from here, the whole goal is to show that g is surjective. And what that means is, is we want to prove this state. And we're trying to prove a statement about every element in C. So give me an arbitrary element of C. I'll call it y. And from here, we want to show that there exists an element x in B such that g of x is equal to y. Now, we know that g compose f is surjective, which means we know that this statement is true. And this statement works for every element in C. So in particular, it must work for the element y that we have here. So taking y to be the y we have here, we have that there exists an element x in A such that g compose f evaluated at x is equal to y. But let's remember, for all x in A, g compose f evaluated at x is equal to g of f of x, right? And this statement works for every element in A. So in particular, it must work for the x that we have here. So taking x to be the x we have here, we have that this is true. And we know that g compose f of x is equal to y. And also, we know that since f of x is an output of the function f, that means f of x must be an element of b. So we have shown that this statement is true. The reason why is because we have found at least one element in B that makes this statement turn out true. Namely, f of x. In other words, if we take x to be the f of x we have here, well, yeah, f of x is an element of B. That's what we have here. And also, g of f of x is equal to y. That's what we have here. So, this is true. And we showed that this is true under the assumption of some arbitrary element y in C. Since y was arbitrary, we have shown for all y in C, this is true. So we've proven this entire statement, which means we have proven that g is surjective. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.